to the right place. I, first of all, let me say, woo! Oh, yeah. Do you feel the level of energy in this place today? It's so amazing. Y'all energy. What you say, babe? Yes, God! Girl, that's what I said. Yes! 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 yes. What you say, mama? Get into it. Yes! You better shout. What you say? I love you. Thank you for coming out, y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all all right? Cause y'all just gave me all, all that good energy. Oh my God. Now, before I sit down, I'ma twirl around for you cause I put on my boss lady suit today. Any boss ladies in the house today? Uh-huh. Yeah, uh oh, we got one right here. Mary raised her hand. Mary, let me see you. That's boss Mary right there. Now I'll go ahead and twirl around for him. That's Boss Mary. I call her out. Any more Boss ladies around here? Yes! I see you. Honey, you could be bossing in that seat. You could be bossing at home. Baby, you could be bossing in that job, in that office, and you own it, and you be proud of it. You hear me? Yes? I, I know you when I see you, so I put my good business suit on for you right here. And then, bam, my little, put my color, my color on the floor. Now I'm gonna take this foot and I'm gonna tip over here to the seat because you know I just turned 41, right? And I earn, I earn the right to get that little walk. You ever see folks walk like that? You earn the right to walk like that. I'm sorry, this is my show, so look, I'm gonna talk about what I wanna talk about. You ever see them people? I, see, I love people watching, okay? And sometimes I sit back and I watch people. And if you ever see that walk every now and then, I'll be like, how they walk like that? Where they come from? And they say, that walk got some subtext. You know what I mean? You earn the, you earn the right to walk like that. That comes with age and being seasoned. And y'all know what I'm talking about, don't you? Pay attention. But you know, I'm a little actress too, and so I, people watching is a part of their job. And so I love to sit back and wonder what the subtext of people's, you know, mannerisms, how you exist in space, and, you know, it teaches me so much about people. So when I see your outfits, I feel like it's having a whole conversation with me. And I'll be like, hold the line, let's see. Wait, what you say? What you want to say? With that shoe, with that shirt, with that color, with, you know what I mean? It teaches you about people, you know? So I put all, today I'm very serious about my job. Welcome to the Jennifer Hudson Show. <laughs> okay, okay, and since it's Thursday, I thought I'd share a throwback photo for you guys. Oh, yeah. of, this is a long time ago now, y'all. This is from my prom back in, Walter, how long was it? When we, when we, this is my friend Walter and I, and this was my prom date, Walter Williams. <laughs> I took on Walter with me. I love you, it. My best friend and life partner. Okay, see, 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 he's real shy, y'all. Y'all didn't see it. He was like, get that camera off me, get that camera off me. <laughs> and I tell him, I do the talking, friend. He does, you know, he does all the work. Boss man, without him, I couldn't live this life. He said, Jennifer, stop talking about me. Okay, so I'm gonna get the attention off of him because he ain't for it. But I took Walter to prom with me because my boyfriend didn't have a car. So I, <laughs> and, 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 and James, you, you know, he was my first love. He gonna be like, Jennifer's still talking about me on TV because I stay connected with all my people. So that mean I'm gonna stay connected to you if that's all right with you, is that okay? I hold on to that. Now, yes, Walter was my lovely prom day, but I want to go back because the energy y'all just brought into this space and place in this room, it, I'm so sensitive to energies and it lifted me so I felt it as soon as I came out. And I always have a word of the day. Sometimes it's on the mug. Sometimes it's just in my heart or on my mind. Sometimes it's in my pocket. Hold on. <laughs> my word of the day is Energy, believe it or not. So as I was walking in this morning, Chester, um, the young lady who gives us, who takes good care of us and gives us our COVID test, we put, I put all of these around. So I have different words and affirmations and different things. And she's like, I'm picking energy for the day. 
And it didn't register to me in that moment that that was the word of the day for me, right? So then I was going throughout the day and it's like, you wanna leave people with something. I don't like to do anything just to do it. I like everything to have a meaning and to have substance. So I was really thinking like, if I could say one thing to y'all, what would it be? And then I was like, energy. And I was like, wow, she had already given me the word early in the day, which means nothing is just. Everything in your day prepares you for something else. I had no idea when she picked up the word energy this morning that it was going to speak to me today. You see what I mean? So, <laughs> oh my God, yeah. So energy, what I want to say about energy, I was thinking I'm very sensitive to energy. Like I could walk into a room and be like, ooh, Oh, I know the feeling of it. Sometimes I could read a thought, you know, but sometimes energy can go to get a hold of your spirit. You know what I mean? And sometimes you may be feeling a certain energy that's not yours, you know? And sometimes you have to stop and think like, where's that coming from? That's not of my character. That's not my energy. That's not even my issue or my situation. <laughs> and it's just a little something I wanted to make people conscious of, like check your energy. And then think about the energy you're setting yourself up with for the day, because it's going to come back to you too. You know what I mean? So I hope that makes a little sense. So if you're feeling down, if you're feeling confused, if you're feeling extra antsy or happy, you, you might be like, okay, whose energy is this that I'm picking up? You know, there are all types of energies out there, but you want to hold on to your own. So it's good to set the tone of the day with what energy you want to put out and you want to exude in your day. Oh, ooh, child, before I came, I got something else in my other pocket. Hold the line, hold the line. So today I got, forget a, a flower, forget a pot of flowers. I got a whole garden of flowers today. From, you wanna know who? Mama Oprah. Bring these, bring these flowers out here. Y'all got a CD. Do you see this? I tried my best to push it out here so y'all could see them, but I, I, didn't, I didn't necessarily make the cut. But there go the flowers. And guess what? I bet you she got that out her backyard. <laughs> Thank you, Mama, of oh, my flowers. Oh, my God. We have a great show for y'all. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Our next guest is a five-year-old genius blowing up on TikTok. Y'all take a look. I got this. OK, come on. Texas, Austin, Lone Star State. Nicknames. Florida, okay. Tallahassee, Sunshine State. I almost messed that up. Maryland, Annapolis. Massachusetts, Boston. Maine, Augusta. Minnesota, St. Paul. Missouri, Show Me, St. Jefferson City. <laughs> From Brooklyn, New York, please welcome Lena and her mom, Maddie. Why, you look fabulous. How are you feeling today? I'm a bit nervous, but more excited. More excited? I'm nervous because I'm not nearly as smart as you are. <laughs> You're going to teach us a lot today, huh? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. She said, yeah, y'all. All right. Um, how did you learn all the states and the capitals? Well, my mom told me all about it. And how did you realize she was so smart? Um, at about a few months old, we started. <laughs> <laughs> clap for your mom. Uh -uh. Clap for her mom. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Go, mama. I started um, sign language with her when she was about six months old, just to see if she would get it. And at nine months, she showed me her first sign. What was the first sign you learned? More. What's the sign for more? And from there, I realized she picks things up pretty quick. And we kept going from there. And it just grew from sign language to actual signs. So she would see signs in the street, Walmart, who doesn't know Walmart. And she started reading like Target? from- Like Target? Target. What else? What are your signs? Target is my good spot. <laughs> Nickelodeon. Uh -huh. All of them. Really? All of them. Can I ask you a question, Lena? What's your favorite subject? It's actually lunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then, since we're on lunch, what's your favorite meal at lunch? My favorite is peanut butter and jelly. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have another question. Is school easy to you? Yeah. Yeah? No pressure yet. 
No, oh, no pressure yet. <laughs> Girl, you got confidence too. Yes, ma'am. So, Dad, how Dad is out there? Wave at Dad, everybody. Hi, Dad. <laughs> you see your Dad? How does it feel to have a genius? Um, it's emotional. You know, you, you see a bunch of special kids in this world, and to know that that special kid is it's my kid. Nice. Aww. It's, it's, I have another question. Do you have a brother, and does he know as much as you? I do have a brother. He's 14 years old, but I don't think he knows as much as me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I love your answers. OK, OK, so can we play a game? Let's play a game with everybody. Can we play Stump Lena? Mm hmm Let's see. OK, has anyone ever beat you? I think I know the answer to this. Has anyone ever beat you? No. <laughs> Okay. I love your confidence, girl. Okay, um, you ready to play? Mm -hmm. I know you ready, I can tell. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you're gonna tell me what country these are from, okay? You ready? <laughs> Honey, I probably don't even know the answer to this, but okay, here we go. Estonia. All right. Do <laughs> this is amazing. Curacao. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Girl, you better put us in class. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe! <laughs> you quick, I can't even pick up the car quick enough. Uzbekistan. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody following along. Because I could barely pick it up, and she already got the answer. Okay. Isla Man. Wow. Okay. Ivory Coast. Wow. Yup. Ireland. Ireland. I need to come to your class. Yemen. What was that? Yemen. Oh my God. <laughs> Hold the line. We got a few more. Let's see. Liberia. <laughs> she stay ready. Okay. USA. Come on, USA. <laughs> Canada. Canada. Philippines. She couldn't wait for this one. Philippines! Give me five. Let's go! Oh my God! Great job, Mom and Dad! Oh my God, thank you for coming. Will you come back and see us some? Absolutely. You will, Mom, Absolutely. Dad, you'll come back too. Absolutely. Okay, <laughs> y'all heard that. We'll be right back. Yo! It has been 18 years since I was eliminated from American Idol, <laughs> right? But what a lot of people might not remember is that that wasn't the first time that I was sent home and eliminated from the show. But luckily for me, one of the judges picked me as their wild card. And so, you remember that? Okay, guys. So, if you don't remember, watch this clip. Here we go. I have chosen, it was a tough decision, against all odds, I have chosen Jennifer Hudson. Congratulations, Jennifer Hudson. You're in the top 12. You're into the next round. Are you okay? Yes. You all right? Mm -hmm. You want to thank Randy? Thank you so much. Very thank welcome. You. Just work it out. Put it down. Listen, I love you. Thank you for your voice and bringing oh, your voice to us on the show. Thank you. When we saw you audition in Atlanta, I was like, yo, you know, I grew up in the church, in the hood. You grew up in the church, yes. probably in the hood, yes. too. Listen, singing is what we love. We grew up loving singing in the church. Yes. And when I heard you when you auditioned, I was like, that girl's got something. Oh, thank God you heard it. Listen. Yo, and she still got it today, y'all. Jay Hud is in her house. Ah! Oh! 
say, I don't know about you, but that clip just took me back. I felt like I was still sitting there because after a while for me, elimination nights would hunt me, y'all. I would be like, why am I so nervous today? What's going to, oh, right. Even after I was eliminated, I would still feel that energy. Oh, man. And be like, right, it's elimination night. Because it like, it tases you and it kind of never leaves you. So that just took me all the way back. Well, it took okay? me back because I'm looking at like, whoa, you haven't aged a day. You don't think so? You look good too now, Randy. Oh, man, look, I'm saying. <laughs> what? Okay, so I gotta ask you, because people still come up to me about like being eliminated and, and season three of American Idol and things like that. Do, do you still get people coming up to you about Yeah, it? people often wonder about what would happen on the show, but listen, you are proof to the whole thing that everyone should notice out there trying to be an artist or whatever career you're doing. You knew that you had a gift given by God. Thank you. Never give up. Thank you. Never, ever give up because look, Never. I'm so proud of you. I'm probably, for me, I'm probably more proud of you than I'm proud of any other idol winner Aww. because you didn't win. I did not. And look at what you've done. Thank you. No, and oh, look at God. what you've done. That's, that's, the, that's the thing. Keep going. Never give up. Never give up. Believe in yourself and believe in your talent. Thank you. And you did it. You said, look, this ain't gonna stop me. One door closes. Five more about to open. You better preach on today. Oh, Randy brought the sun. No. Open up the doors of the church. <laughs> but that is the thing that I, I took with me. Like, I, I always find things. So every, nothing is just. And everything is a lesson. So even when it seems negative, it's like, no, you're always learning. And you can always grow from that and apply it to the next thing. And again, that just took me back to like that time. And it's like, I remember in that moment, I'm like, well, I still have my talent. I still have my gift. And as long as I keep going with it, it has no choice but to give in, you and, know? And, truth and I to try the show, to keep going. Well, listen, I love that. And true to you. the show, you get an audience now. So there's a lot of people that loved you. They didn't all love you enough to make you win, but they right. loved you. Yes. So you come to the show and you now got an audience. Yes. And as my grandma would say, I'm sure a lot of y'all out there, I'm sure people in your family, do not block the blessings. You don't know where they're gonna come from. So for me, it was weird being a judge on Idol because Kyle and I were in our guys, which most people didn't understand. Really? Now, I didn't yeah. know this. Tell me. We were in our guys. Kyle was at RCA, I was at MCA. It's what we did, but the other thing that's really interesting about that fact is that we thought we only need one winner, but we're going to find a bunch of people that's going to be talented. And I don't know if you remember that season, you, Fantasia, and Latoya. The three divas. We had our dream girls <laughs> in the house. Oh my god! In the house. Oh my god! Wow. Listen, okay. Now, I don't know if you remember, I sang Aretha Franklin on that show, but this ain't about me, this is about Aretha. You work with Aretha Franklin. Yeah, love, 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 man. One of the greatest ever. Wow. I mean, when you think about Whitney, Mariah, Celine, they all, Jennifer, they all grew up idolizing, loving, living for Wow. Her. I mean, I mean, she's an amazing talent. I mean, good cook, too. Oh, yeah, she could cook. Now, I never got my Aretha meal, though. I heard her talk about a few meals. Well, she, could, she could burn, man. Aretha could burn. I heard she chose you for the movie. Yes, you know, she saw, I guess, I guess she saw my audition on Idol, because you know the first thing I sang for y'all was Share Your Love With Me by Aretha Franklin. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah and, yeah. and two years later, she called me for our first initial meeting about me playing her, because she was a fan of Idol. Did you know that? Oh, yeah, no, I know. I talked to her about it a bunch of times. She was, she was funny, though, but she loved you. I but love I, her. I mean, listen, she was so great in the movie, right? Thank you. Do and look. Thank you. That's hard Thank to you. do. Thank you. Yes. That is really difficult to play a superstar that big that, like, laid it out. Yes. But you did your thing. Thank man. you. Thank you. Look. So proud. Did of I you. do my thing, dog? You did did your I? Thing, dog. <laughs> she's in the dog pound. Now she's in the house. In the dog pound. Listen. It's gonna be a yes for me, Jay Hood. Ah, y'all heard that? Hold the line. More with Randy. We'll be right back. Y'all need to know you are in the room in the presence of one of the most legendary, iconic musicians and music contributors, Mr. Randy Jackson. Like, I have to say this. Back on the show, like I used to love your critiques because you could go to the piano. If you said Jennifer, you was flat. You can't right. argue that. <laughs> Honey, you flat. So I'd be like, wait, what Randy gotta say? What Randy gotta right, say? Because right. you could take it to the take it to the keys, take it to the piano, and let me know if I was right or wrong. So I always value you as a judge and just took, you know, took your notes and everything you had to say. I heard that you had a good friend of mine here the other day. I did. Cowell. Yes. 
My name's Simon Cowell. You know, How was he? He was different. He changed now. He changed. He's grown up, man. Do you think it's, is, his, is, his, is it his kid? I think it might be his son, Eric. I think, you know, he's mellowed a bit, you know, and I think, you know, <laughs> it was so long ago we did that show. You got children. I got three. You have three? Yeah, man. How two girls and a boy, man. Are they musicians? What do they do? My son is a producer, DJ, yes, drummer. Wow. Uh, my middle child, they all had musical tap, but my middle child is a graphic artist, photographer. My oldest is a film editor. Nice. So, they're all in the business. All in the business. Okay, tell me, you just had a weight loss. Tell me about that. Man, listen, it's a struggle. It's been a struggle a long time. It's a lifelong struggle, but over the last 20 years, I think I've lost 120 pounds. Wow. And look, look, I needed to, I needed to, because I developed type 2 diabetes. My back was giving me a bunch of issues. So just health-wise, I really needed to get it together, which prompted me about six years ago with all the stuff that I learned from all the doctors and everything I've been doing, my own journey, to start Unify Health Labs, a company I started, to get people together, because gut health is the key. Mm -hmm. Everything starts and forms in the gut, and before the gut, how does it get to the gut? It goes through the mouth. So the mouth is another bad place for bacteria. That's why flossing every day two, three times, you got to do it, got to brush. Stay on that because that helps to keep your gut clean. But I'm telling you, man, it's, it's, it's some serious stuff. Y'all can get out of here. So, like, what would, what's the advice you would give somebody that's trying to get started? I would say, listen, if you can afford it, if you can't, talk to a health care provider or... One of the things that really helped me is going to a therapist, mm -hmm. but a behavioral psychology therapist, because if I can change the way you look at something or you think about it, maybe we can make the change. Mm. Because, I mean, you know, then you can be the change, but maybe you're not looking at it, because eating is so emotional. That's true. And I mean, weight loss is probably 80% diet. Mm -hmm. It's so emotional. You're happy, you're sad, you're depressed, you're scared, you're worried. Whatever that emotion is, you satiate yourself with food. So you got to learn how to control that emotion. That's why the psychologist, the psychiatrist works. Tell everybody about Go With Your Gut Day. Tomorrow, September 23rd, is National Go With Your Gut Day. We started this a while ago because trying to get people to focus on that gut health. Mm -hmm. You get your gut healthy, you're wealthy. You may not have all the money in the world, but you'll have your body because the gut, the mind, it's all connected. Everything, every cell, everything. Yeah. Gotta get it, man. Gotta have it. You always have such valuable lessons and things to say. I'm clinging to every word that you say. You, well, you you're know, a great teacher. You know, listen, like yourself, you know, you're talking to somebody, a young Jennifer, and you're like, listen, these are the things that I did. Right. You know, because you want to, I'm, I'm freely happy to give whatever I learned. Because right. a lot of people help me, man. People... There's no I in success. Never forget mm. that. Mm. Takes a team. Takes a team. Y'all hear that? For more information about Go With Your Gut Day, visit our website, y'all. We'll be right back. So I love a good story, and boy, do I have one for you today. The other day, we were in my office, and one of my producers, Shani, told me a story. Wait till y'all hear about this. Shani, please come up here. T just get to the point, girl. Tell them what happened. But first, I have to say, every time I'm with Jennifer, I have this urge to just tell her things that she probably doesn't need to know. And on this day, I decided to tell her about my worst date ever. Worst date. Okay. So this guy picks me up. Uh-huh. He's like, let's go to dinner. I'm like, great. I'm looking forward to this date because he was cute. Picks me up. We're driving to the restaurant, y'all. His car stops. He says, he says, I ran out of gas. Mind you, this is the first date. First date. First impression. I go ran ahead. out of gas, but there's a gas station two blocks. I can see it. You, you stay here. I'm gonna go get gas. So I'm like, okay, yeah, you go ahead and do that. So <laughs> once he gets out the car and goes around the corner uh -huh. and I see that he can't see me, uh -huh. I get out the car. <laughs> 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 oh 
and I walked to a friend's house who lived nearby, and I was like, you take me home, because this was, this was not it. <laughs> hey, Shetty, Shetty. <laughs> right? Were you nervous that he was gonna see you? I was, because I wanted to make sure that he wasn't gonna be like, wait, where are you going? So I'm getting out the car, but I'm still looking over my shoulder, like, So if, okay. he, if you looked over your shoulder, <laughs> hold on. And he was there, what was you gonna say? I was gonna take off my shoes and run. I was gonna act like I didn't hear him. <laughs> <laughs> it was over. We were done. That was it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I gotta ask this, because my mind is going around this. So, did you come up with the idea to, like, I guess, ditch him? When he went, as soon as the car stopped, like, oh, honey, I got to go. Or, like, once he got out of the car, went to the gas station, did you say, As soon as he got I out that leave. car, as soon as he got out that car, Jennifer, my mind was made up. I knew what I was doing. I was getting out of there <laughs> as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, I got, I, got, I got a few people I want to hear from. Where you at? I would have waited around for a little bit for him. Um, but, you know, my husband would have never did that. He would have filled up at Costco the night before. Exactly. There you go. And that is why he's your husband. That's why they're married. That's and why he's your together. husband. That is hilarious. What you got, sir? I'm a hopeless romantic. And, and these kind of things happen. Mm. Hold the line. I, I knew I would get that. These kind of things happen. Uh-huh. Listen. <laughs> Look at your face. I, I've been married for 38 years. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. And this could be a great story to tell 10 years later. How on our so first day, I need another opinion. he ran out of gas. That's I a need great another story. Opinion. Good job. <laughs> I gotta ask your wife, how many times have you ran out of gas? Right. How many, ma'am, how many times has he ran out of gas? Right. Actually, he has not run out of oh, gas. Oh, what is he? <laughs> She said, uh-huh. Look, gas romantically, he hasn't run out of it. Oh, yeah. Nor in the... That's another uh, episode, mama. That's a whole other segment. I know. <laughs> you, you don't run out of gas, like, and be together 38 years later. Yes, ma'am. But I, I agree with him. Woo! Yes, ma'am. She better put us together. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Hi. Well, I'm a woman that's definitely worth preparing for. Okay? <laughs> See, so, that's, that's, if you, that's, that's me. If you didn't take the time to prepare for me with the most basic of things called getting gas, baby, as my big sister and my family says over here, uh -huh. if he can't keep gas in his car, he won't pay the rent. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, get, so get rid of him right away. You better tell him. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. Y'all just schooled me and, Sh and Shani. Okay, listen, I'm gonna tell you my opinion when we come right back. I gotta think about this. Yeah, we're back with Shani. Shani, what if I told you we tracked him down and he's here today? Girl, shut come, up. I'm just playing, I'm just playing. <laughs> you got nervous. I was like, don't do that to me. Don't do that to you. Come on. No, I'm not playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Okay, I'm back here. <laughs> that was so funny. Okay, okay. So I'm supposed to tell y'all what I would have done. Huh. Well, I don't think I would have been brave enough to get out of the car. Oh, One. Girl. What you say? A Chicago girl. Listen, Chicago I said, girl. you know, I would have stayed, but that would have been the first and the last date. That's for sure. <laughs> now, did he try to call you? He did. What'd he say? He was, I don't know. I didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was smart. Okay. <laughs> well, that was smart. Okay, I know we got your sister in the audience, Sharifa. Yes. What you got to say about this? <laughs> well, so being Shawnee's sister, I love her. She's super sweet. Don't let her fool you with those dimples, though. Mm. <laughs> she has zero, a level of zero when it comes to foolishness. And that was some foolishness. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Do you? You sound just like her. Do you have a, no level for foolishness either? Um, yeah, mine's maybe a two. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then your daughter, your daughter Chloe is here. Hi, Chloe. How are you? Hi, Chloe. Uh, and you, have you ever heard this story before? Did your mom tell you about this? Uh, no, she did not. <laughs> okay, and what, what, what were you thinking? What would you do? I would probably, I, I don't think I would leave the car, but I definitely wouldn't call the guy back or like anything. <laughs> I'll probably just block him and just move on. Okay, you tell the You tell the will. <laughs> and, and, and guys, here at J-Hub Productions, we celebrate everything. Today is Chloe's 13th birthday. Happy birthday, girl! Happy birthday! 
If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.